What's up guys and today we got the NFL Movers Jones, Minnesota and Edge Setter Chemistry and finally a good pass rushing left outside linebacker for a decent price. 6'4", 86 speed, 90 strength, 93 play rate, 86 hit power, 94 pursuit, 91 tackle, 90 excel, 96 block shed, great stats all around as well as at a very nice 95 finesse move without any kind of boost so if you got a motivator or whatever get that boost and make that finesse move even better but anyways the block shed is nice the tackling is nice a very nice combination 96 block shed 91 tackle a great combination for any uh linebacker and he was just blowing up the run so many times just like his um his opposite linebacker nick perry on the right side this guy is amazing at stopping the run so from what I could tell, I mean, whether it was a tight end, a lineman, or a fullback, whoever it was, it, they struggled to stop him consistently. And this is what, you know, really stood out to me immediately, like right away, the first game even, the pass rushing, man. I don't know why. I, I'm trying to figure out what it is about him compared to someone like TJ Watt, who, ha who also has a very high finesse move. Why TJ Watt did not really show up that much, but then you got uh, Jones here just flashing left and right from, you know, game after game. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I don't even care. All I know is that as soon as I saw him, you know, pass rushing like crazy and getting great QB rushes and sacks, I knew that he was a keeper. So, great pass rusher. And, of course, he did get sacks. I mean, 86 speed is nice to chase down some fast quarterbacks. Now, he does only have, like, I believe, like 65 zone, and that's just not that great. So, he's not that type of linebacker. If you pick him up, I would say just blitz him. That's pretty much all he's for. And, of course, stopping the run. So, I just loved playing with him and obviously you know he's not gonna cost you that much so that's gonna wrap this up guys and right now he goes for like between 15 and 60 thousand that's not that bad especially considering the way he played and like I said I would definitely recommend him if you need a good pass rusher and run stopper I mean he was going against the top tier guys and still getting pressure consistently not the best uh, zone guy but if you need him to pass rush I mean that's your guy right there and as far as my next review, it's going to be the 99 uh, NFL Movers Peterson. And right here, guys, you see what I'm talking about? TJ Watt stat-wise blows him out of the water. You would, you know, you would think that TJ Watt would be the much better player, but for whatever reason, Jones just blew him out of the water. I, I don't know why, but like I said, I don't care. All I know is that Jones gave me results. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. Guys, thanks for watching, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, see you guys for the Peterson review. Peace.